bite off more than you can chew. Megan cleaned clock by Kate despite her big investment on image. Given their platform royal women can be some of the most influential in the world. Now, the Duchess of Cambridge has just topped another most influential list above Diana and Meghan for an entirely different reason. Data for a new study has shown that Kate is UK's most fashionable royal woman beating out not only the Duchess of Sussex but also the late Princess of Wales. Top Mobile Casino analysed the British public's monthly Google searches and found that there were 9,010 regarding Kate's fashion. According to the study, Kate Middleton dresses is one example of a high search term as it was googled more than 4,600 times in a single month. The Duchess of Cambridge's late mother-in-law was second on the list garnering 6,000 monthly searches. Diana has been a style icon for more than three decades and her fashionable attire was recreated and shown on screen in the popular Netflix show The Crown as well as the movie Spencer starring Kristen Stewart. But everything is the opposite of Meghan. Recently, the Intrepid Museum's annual garland honors extraordinary leadership on behalf of veterans and raises money for the museum's educational programs for students and military. In front of a crowd that included Salute Award recipient Bob Pittman of iHeartMedia and rock star John Bon Jovi, who was given a Lifetime Achievement Award for his service to veterans, Harry made a speech with a speech that made a few jokes about his experiences in America. Just last week, I went for a ride on the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile, he said. How's that for living the American dream? The Duchess of Sussex chose a bold red dress by Caroline Herrera for the fate. She accessorized the gown, which featured a plunging neckline and a bow in the back, with a ballerina-esque bun, cat eye makeup, red pointy toe pumps, and a poppy pin. For those unfamiliar, in the UK, the floral brooch represents those soldiers who have lost their lives during wartime. The symbolism of the poppy is a tradition that dates back to World War I, when John McRae wrote the poem in Flanders Fields following the loss of a friend in battle, and now, many wear poppies in November as a sign of remembrance. Either way, Meghan Markle must always let herself shine like a star in the universe. She can spend a lot of money on extravagant outfits or choose a dress that has little to do with the situation, as long as it's enough that the people around have to be the backdrop. However, there are times when Meghan's dominant nature brings her into the circle of karma. Perhaps this female monster did not know she was beaten by karma at the most unexpected moment. At the event honoring American veterans held in New York, she and her husband had a relatively prominent appearance. Instead of choosing a famous foreign fashion house, Meghan looked to the brand of talented designer Carolina Herrera. The red two-string dress, Meghan's lucky color, with a stylized cup part is a relatively reasonable choice at this event. With Meghan's personality, choosing a bright red dress with a deep cut is a way for her to become the protagonist of the event. The Duchess of Sussex loved the dress, but didn't seem to like it very much. The proof is that the back of the dress is tight and pushes the flesh and fat of Meghan's back, causing them to flip to the sides. Her image at the time was like a woman torturing herself in a tight dress. The media called Meghan a fashion disaster. Others think this is a less glamorous dress, completely inappropriate for a party honoring those who have meritorious services to the country. Overall, Meghan Markle proves once again that she is too naughty but lacks sophistication. She is not quite as beautiful as the Snow Princess when she wears red, but to be honest, Meghan Markle is quite glamorous with this color when she has helped her reach the top many times. But whether it's blue, red, purple, yellow or seven colors of the rainbow, no color can patronize Meghan, helping her avoid the market if she doesn't create the market herself.